How many were killed? How many? 20 million people, 10 million soldiers and 10 million civilians. Second World War, 30 million people were killed. And another 34 million injured. Compare. We find that if you go back to the source, you will come to know the real reason and the real philosophy behind the statement of the verse of the Quran. And one of the most common allegations today that we have, or again top of the list, the common misconception, is that Islam was fed by the sword. Islam comes from the root word salam, which means peace. It comes from the word silm, which means peace, which means to submit your will to Almighty God. And if anyone who submits his will to Almighty God to acquire peace, he's called as a Muslim. Imagine if you translate the statement, Islam was spread by the sword, it means peace was spread by the sword. And Islam, as a general norm, it is against violence. But as a last resort, force can be used. And in every country of the world, every country of the world has a police. And this police too, if suppose the civilian or the citizens or anyone else, if they do not follow the law of the country, this police, it uses force to let peace prevail in that country. So when every country has a police, and when they can use force, they can keep guns. And if Islam is against violence, it mainly promotes peace. As a last resort, because some people do not want peace and they want to disrupt the peace, to control these people as a last resort, Islam gives permission for the use of force and violence as a last resort. The reply to this misconception that Islam was spread with the sword is given very well by a famous historian by the name of Delacy O'Leary. Famous historian, Delacy O'Leary. He writes in his book, Islam at the Crossroad, on page number 8, and he says that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword over conquered races is the most fantastic, absurd myth that historians have ever repeated. Dilethi O'Leary writes in his book Islam at the Crossroad that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword over conquered races is the most fantastic, absurd myth that historians have ever repeated. And we know that we Muslims, we ruled Spain for about 800 years. We did not force anyone to accept Islam at the point of the sword. Later on the crusaders came and they wiped out the Muslim. There was not a single Muslim who could openly give the azan. The Muslims, we were the lord of the Arab land for the past 1400 years. For a few years the Britishers came, for a few years the French came, but as a whole, the Arab Muslims were the lord of the Arab land for the past 1400 years. Yet today, yet today, there are more than 14 million Arabs who are Coptic Christians. Coptic Christians means Christians since generation. These 14 million Coptic Christian Arabs they are bearing witness, they are giving shahada that Islam was not spread by the sword. The Muslims ruled India for about a thousand years. If they wanted, they could have forced every Indian to accept Islam at the point of the sword. Today, after a thousand years, we find in India that more than 80% of the Indians, they are non-Muslims. These 80% non-Muslims Indian, they are bearing witness, they are giving shahada that Islam was not spread by the sword. Which Muslim army went to Malaysia? Malaysia happens to be a country which has more than 50% Muslims. Which Muslim army went to Indonesia? Which is a country which has the maximum number of Muslims in the world. Which Muslim army went to the east coast of Africa? Which Muslim army? Which sword? Thomas Carlyle gives the reply. He again is a famous historian from Europe. And he says, which sword? First you have to get your sword. Every new idea originates in the mind of one. In one man's head it originates. One man against the full world. 
one against everyone else. It will do little good that he picks up a sword and propagates it. First, you have to get your sword. He is referring to the sword of intellect, as Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 125. Invite all to the way of thy Lord, with wisdom and beautiful preaching, and argue with them, and reason with them, in the ways that are best and most gracious.